Hi, this is Josh from Sweet Tree Productions. Today we're going to show you a little bit about the att attribute editor and the little attribute window at the bottom right corner of your Titan screen. So what we're going to do on our on our Titan program, you see I've got this one big Artiste Picasso button where we patched in on another video. I'm just going to click on it and you can see on our attribute editor there's a whole bunch of different things these can do and to kind of help you organize that that thought process Avalites has kind of organized them into little windows that you can click on here and uh, kind of control from there but what they've also given you that's kind of cool down here on your bottom right corner you can walk through and a lot of these you can click twice and you'll go to another window. You can see it's also doing it on the attribute editor up here and you can get from dimmer, bring the dimmer up and down, control that from there. You can also control that from your actual attribute editor by just dragging across the screen. You can see you can get shutter options, you can control pan tilt, and a lot of these, a lot of these just stand for ones one specific set of attributes. You can see I is intensity and you can see that it controls the shutter and the dimmer. You can see P is pan and tilt. You can see it just controls those two. C is usually color and it has a whole bunch of different things under it. It's got preset colors with some fixtures. It's got color macros where it does some different things and color mixing which it brings up this little color window and you can also jump through here you can see this is a CMY fixture where you can really control those really fine tune them from here if you want to you can go you have gobo which just usually has your gobo different sets of gobo attributes whether it's sets of actual gobos and on some fixtures you'll have pictures of the gobos it shows it just depends on uh, depends on the person making the profile if they just want to if they wanted to just say one two three four five six seven if they wanted to actually give you pictures of it so it just depends from fixture to fixture it's got some different gobo shake attributes that kind of thing and you click on gobo again and you get another set of attributes you can see it's done the same thing here B is usually for beam, but in this case, you also get blades. So you can really shutter in with these fixtures, kind of what you want. You can see it's brought up frost here first, which is another one. You can see it's on this on this side as well. Usually get zoom, focus, and iris in this as well, uh, which usually will show up at just the middle middle value depending on the fixture and who built it same thing along those lines with the artiste Picasso's you also get this nice little you can shutter in from the attribute editor and kind of control that just from there it'll also give you different positions you can see down here in my little my smaller attribute window I can control different position values of the different blades that it can do and it looks like it has four or so you can change the blade rotation and we're back to our beginning you can see it's got some autofocus stuff that kind of thing and you can see as I'm going through the things I've messed with you remember at the beginning I, I messed with the dimmer so intensity is still highlighted what that means essentially is that it Titan still remembers that I at the very beginning I turned the dimmer up and down so now it, it registers that the dimmer is at zero. And it, it knows that I messed with the blades a little bit on our attribute window. 
and it knows that I just got them back to home. But it does still have that I've actually messed with 2A and 2B. On E, E is usually your effect. It can be anything from, for this one it's prisms, for some it's other effects that it have has. Sometimes you have, if you have an infinitely rotating uh, fixture of some kind, whether it's pan or tilt, sometimes that'll be under here, sometimes it'll be under somewhere else, it may be under pan and tilt. Um, but anything special that they really want to shine about a fixture is usually usually in this effect window here. And then over at special, you get a lot of true control options as far as like your your pan tilt speed, your dimmer speed if you if if it has that anything along those lines different controls sometimes your uh if you have to lamp on a fixture we'll see if this one does it doesn't look like it does but some, if you have to lamp on a fixture it may be under this control window or it may be under something else here and some people will put it under intensity as well but then you can also see Picasso also has some pre-built programs in it. You can see they're there. You can see moving dark is sometimes under here. Just that kind of stuff. And you've got this effects window which won't change anything over here. And that's simply because this effects window is really situational. It brings up when you when we get into a shapes video, it'll show up with some different things on down here that you can mess with and uh, really, really tighten up your shape, tighten up to, to do exactly what, it, what you want it to do. That's kind of it for, for the attribute editor. You can see you can still go through. Again, we said you can click and drag on this color mix window. Another video will do. You can see it, it just color, uh, you can select colors from there. You can select saturation of the color over here just some different different things different little color macros but yeah I think that's it for our attribute editor window video and again if you ever want to uh, want to not have any of this all you have to do is press our little clear button on our console or on your Titan 1 program and uh, you won't see any of this anymore. Essentially, you've gone back to the beginning where you will collect, click this again, and it'll save some attributes. You can see I've, I've moved the Picasso, essentially, a little bit, and it saved, it's kind of saved that value, but it's not recorded anywhere. So as soon as you mess with it again, that's when it's going to actually start recording information. So that's just a little bit about these these two little windows and how helpful they are again on the uh, on down here if we go to our console you can see in another video we went through all the different buttons you've got and it'll still click through you can change through and double click on different things and it'll show different different attributes of different things but that's uh, that's kind of it for for that video Go ahead and give us a call if you need anything else, and uh, thanks for watching.